Once upon a time, long, long ago, God gave great strength to a man named Samson. Yeah, ever since I was a little kid, I've been winning arm wrestling contests. No problemo. He had never cut his hair in his whole life. Sure, I had long hair, but none of the other guys ever made fun of me because I also had big muscles. Samson was so strong that one day he fought off a thousand Philistine soldiers, those were the bad guys, with the jawbone of a donkey as his only weapon. Whoa. Man, I was so tired that day I could barely stand up. And I was so thirsty I thought I was going to die. But I didn't. God had another plan. He sure did. God sent Samson to find a girlfriend from another country. Yeah, I was a man. Save my bone. She was a foxy roxy in a clean yoga toga. And she locked up my ticker quicker than a New York minute. Woo. On his way to see her, Samson met a lion. It roared toward him, leaped into the air, trying to eat him alive. Poor little kitty. I just grabbed it like this, pulled it apart like this, ripped it open like this. Pulled out its insides just like this. Gross. Righteous. The wedding didn't work out between Samson and that lady, but God did use it as an opportunity for Samson to fight against the bad guys once again. Take that, ooh, and that, ooh, and a little bit of, ooh, excuse me, ladies. Hiya, kabunga! Ooh. Philistine's got nothing on me. Yeah, old Samson had lots of adventures, and he was the mightiest warrior in the entire land. But he had one major problem. No matter what happened, Samson always tried to get even. Yeah, I can't stand those Philistines. I'll get you guys, I promise. I'll do you much worse than what you've done to me. Then Samson met another girl. Yeah, Zooey Mama. Six of the chinks in my chain mail. If I had any armor. Her name was Delilah. Delilah. Yeah, she was another cutie. Oh, delightful Delilah. But when the Philistines discovered they were going out together, they convinced Delilah to find out the secret to Samson's superhuman strength. Yeah, at first I wouldn't tell her. I made up all sorts of weird things. But then she just kept nagging and nagging and nagging until he couldn't stand it anymore. Okay, okay, all right already. It's all in the hair, baby. It's all in the hair. That night, while he was sleeping, the bad guy snuck in and cut off his hair. Well, man, like, hair today, gone tomorrow. Then they paid off their helper, Delilah, and they took Samson away to jail. Oh, no. I was as bald as a cue ball. And I was as weak as a cue ball. While he was in prison, three things began to happen. His hair began to grow. Oh, my hair's coming back. Oh. His heart began to change. And his strength began to return. One last time, Samson asked God to give him strength. God, please let me get even with these Philistines. And so when they brought him out to make fun of him, he grabbed the two posts holding up the building and he pulled the post over. Yeah. He fell to the ground and smashed everyone, including Samson. Ouch! But the story of Samson lives on. Hebrews eleven thirty two talks about Samson as one of God's great heroes of faith. Even though he was a bald guy. 
Do you even know the moral of the story? Yeah. Yeah. Never trust your girlfriend with a pair of scissors when you're asleep. No. Oh, yeah. Bald men are weaker than hairy men. Definitely not. The moral is use the gifts that God gives you. And don't waste them. Yes, and let God work through you to accomplish his plan.